Hi everybody, it's Nick. Uh, today I've got a, a Citizen Navahawk 2000 uh, pilot's watch. Instead of doing a review on this watch, I thought I'd show you how the uh, rotating slide rule bezel works and uh, how you can use it to do conversions and uh, calculations like multiplication and division and also uh, rate time distance calculations. Um, it has two rings, the the outer ring here, which rotates, and the inner ring, which is stationary, and then an inside ring inside the face of the watch, which is um, labeled hours, and that you can use for, um, for your rate time distance calculations. Um, like most slide rules, this is based on a, on a logarithmic scale, so it just means that the steps get, get smaller as you go, from 10 to 20 is quite a ways, and then 20 to 30 is shorter, and then 30 to 40 is shorter, and it keeps getting shorter and shorter and shorter back to back to 10, which is your origin. Um, so anyway, the um, the simplest calculations that you can do with these. Let me let me actually zoom in a little bit. Whoa, that's a lot. There we go. Uh, the simplest calculations you can do with these are um, conversions. So here we see um, nautical miles and statute miles. So if we had, say. 90 nautical miles, and we wanted to convert that to, to statute miles. Um, we just look over here, and we see that it's about 103. Each of these hash marks is, is one on this uh, part of the scale. If we wanted to go to kilometers, we'd roll over here. Um, and now, in this area, all the hash marks are sort of worth two. So that would be 166 looks like. Um, so that's pretty simple. You can do, you know, liters to gallons, uh, whatever. There are some different conversion factors on here. Um, the next thing you can do with a, a slide rule best like this is to do um, multiplication and division. And the way that that works, say you're dividing, you would just put the, the two numbers that you're dividing right on top of each other on the ring. So Say I wanted to divide um, 200 by 50. Um, with with these slide rule bezels, you know you only have one set of numbers, so you have to sort of, if you want to sort of do other numbers, you just have to sort of mentally add a zero. So let's add a zero to this and say this is 200 um, divided by 50, and then the answer is at your point of origin, which is here, and this says 40, but if we think about this, we know that it can't be 40 because that would be too much, so it would be 4. 4 times 50 is 200. Um, so you just have to keep track of the decimal and the zeros in your head, um, but kind of keeps you on your toes. Um, if you want to do a multiplication, it's just the opposite. Say you wanted to do uh, 60 times 30, you'd put one of your multipliers on the origin and then find the other one on the inner ring here, and then your answer is opposite. In this case it says 18, but if we know we have um, a 0 from 60 and a 0 from 30, we're going to kind of keep keep those uh, keep those zeros and um, add them both to the end of this 18, so you'd get 1800, and that would be your answer for that. Um, so that's basically how multiplication and division works. If you want to do um, rate time distance calculations, um, you use this. Um, this is sort of where your um, speed would would be shown. Um, you can see it says miles per hour there, and then use the time on the inner ring. So, for example, if we wanted to figure out how long it was going to take us to travel uh, 300 miles, and this is kind of dirty, huh? Ooh, just smeared it. Just give me a sec here. Is that any better? A little better. Um, if we wanted to see how long it would take us to travel 300 miles at 60 miles an hour, we'd set 60 on the speed indicator, uh, and then on the outer ring find 300, uh, in this case 30. And you can see this doesn't quite line up because this slide rule isn't 100% accurate, but if I line that up like that, and then I look on the inside, and we see that it's it says uh, five hours right here. So um, 
so it would take us five hours to travel 300 miles. Um, if we sped that up to 70 miles an hour, we would still find 30 on the outer ring here. And we see that it's just in between 4 hours, 10 minutes, 4 hours, 20 minutes. So I'm going to say that's 4 hours and 15 minutes. Um, if you wanted to solve for speed, say, let's say it actually took us six and a half hours to do 300 miles. So we'd move 30 over here to just opposite six and a half. Right there, six and a half hours, there's 30. And then we come over here and we see the speed is actually uh, 46 miles an hour. So that's how you solve for your rate. Um, if you wanted to solve for distance, um, say, if we had an average speed of 50 miles an hour, um, how far could we travel in, say, eight hours? So you put your speed on 50, come over here to your, your time ring on the inside, find eight, and then opposite that is 40, which would be um, standing for 400 miles. Um, so that's how you solve for, uh, for distance. Um, the, this says um, miles an hour, but this, this actually works for any sort of um, rate calculations. Uh, you could use it for kilometers per hour or even something that's not distance related like um, fuel consumption. Like if you had, like say for, for, for an airplane, if you were using um, 70 gallons of fuel per hour, you could put that there, 70. And then if you wanted to see how many gallons of fuel you would use in, I don't know, two and a half hours, you could come over here, find two hours and 30 minutes, and right opposite that is 174. So 174 uh, gallons. Uh, you could do the same thing with your inner and outer rings. So say you put 70 opposite your point of origin right there, uh, times two and a half is here. And then opposite that is, well, 176. It's a little different because like I said, this slide rule isn't 100% accurate, but um, Basically, you can use either ring. Uh, it's just if you use the inner and outer rings for, for time-related stuff, you get, a, you get a decimal version of time, whereas you, if you use the, uh, the inside hour ring, then you get um, you know, time and hours and minutes. Um, so yeah, so that is basically how you uh, do basic slide rule calculations on a, on a pilot's watch with a rotating slide rule bezel. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it's kind of neat to know how those things work, I think. Anyway, um, yeah, talk to you soon.